wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no brakes, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on ten, make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go deep. Riding on a team, got what you need. Baby, won't you keep me company? Just lost y'all. <laughs> we just lost y'all. <laughs> oh, see, oh, see, see here. Say hey, see. Hi guys. And Devin, it's her birthday. <laughs> Why? When I got off the plane, I went to the bathroom. Right? The bathroom was, was nice. So I was like getting videos and stuff. And then I took my phone out and I was getting photos. My mind went blank. Walked out without my camera. Two, three minutes later, I saw a wine spot and I was like, "Ooh, let me show the girls. I'm gonna get some wine." Didn't have my camera. So then I went back, camera was gone. Then my friends met up with me and we all just literally went up and down the terminal, I'm out of breath. The terminal trying to find y'all. And we finally found y'all. When I tell y'all I start crying, cause I had started crying, it's just too much for me. I can't lose y'all. I was crying y'all, but we found you guys and I teared up on the spot. And I'm so happy we got y'all now, so now y'all can be with us. Yay. I was so scared I wasn't going to be able to vlog this weekend. Oh. I was going to cry. Hearts we, right. We, listen. Hearts dropped. As soon Literally. as I asked the guy, I was like, has anybody turned in a camera? He said, like this? Y'all. Y'all like, oh my God. Busted out. <laughs> I busted out crying. Oh, oh thank you, Jesus. Yeah, All right, y'all. Yes. Let's turn up. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> No, her, her bag went flying. This the one's a real shit. Got it, thing. The big one. No. You gonna leave me with the big one. Oh, girl. Alright, so. Alright, so. Oh, my man. Thank you to my Wait, man. Wait, y'all y'all wanted y'all own rooms, right? Like two oh, or two? Yeah. yeah. Okay, then y'all gonna. Because this one has two beds in it. So I was gonna put the boys in there okay. together. In there. So I was gonna give two of y'all in one and two of y'all in another. Oh, this bathroom is cute. Thank you, Bella. So somebody can take this one right here. So whoever wants that one can take that one. Ryan, do we want Twister? I like Twister. What's the other one? What's the other option? There's one down there to the left. Oh, wow. Yeah. I like so the Twister. So two of y'all going to the left. Chicago's oh, going to the right. Let's do Twister. Twister? Okay. Yeah. We got Twister. Okay. Thank you, Bella. Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten. Did it again, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on ten, got me on two doors in my coupe. I look better under you, girl. I love you, you my truth. The OJ with that juice, got that magic dirty yeah. too. Tell me what you tryna yeah. do. Love. Look, I'm hotter than 10, check out my phone and you calling again Pull up outside and you all in the bin, keeping it up, I don't need it to extend Right now. Cheers, cheers. 
Mexican restaurant because everyone's hungry before we go out tonight. And I just realized I didn't even introduce the vlog. What's up, y'all? Welcome to a weekly vlog. If this is your first time, my name is Maya. <laughs> anyway, y'all, we're about to go eat some Mexican food. It's, it's, it's giving, uh -huh. Oh my god. Thank you. Purposefully have not told her about it. pictures in the mountains and then we are going to this day party i'm assuming it's gonna be like the first five minutes of the vlog because girl we just been lit and having a great time for devin's birthday uh, let me show y'all my outfit real quick it's my girl kill and she hey y'all <laughs> this is literally like the third time i've talked to y'all because we've been so busy i love that she's so yeah i'm wearing this car again from H&M's, the top is from Aritzia, the shorts are from Zara. Then I have on these um, tennis shoes from Zara too, and then my coach bag, so. Yeah, girl. Let's go. Lookout Mountain, and we're about to like, you know, get footage and take pictures and stuff like that. So let's take some pics. I told my friends I was like, I'm traumatized. Y'all. I don't care about no. I don't care about the nature no more. I didn't care before. Now I'm like, oh, I should wear sunscreen. No, thank you. That's beautiful. Those. Just keep like press the button multiple times. Oh, that's a great picture. Alright, you got my change this Where's here? Everybody! Everybody! 
Trying to be a great, trusting everybody that I love, that was my mistake Turn me cold hearted to a savage, if you f*** me over I ain't giving out passes Doing big shit, we ain't doing nothing average, hotter in the summer if you ask me. What's up babes, happy Friday, it's Friday, it's Friday it's Wednesday. Wednesday So, we got back from Denver on Monday um, Monday evening. I didn't get home until like 7 o'clock p.m. This is my first time opening my camera since I've been home because yesterday I did take a mental health day. It was a day, but we're back now. Uh, first of all, elephant in the room. I burned myself last week. <laughs> so uh, it was been almost a week last Thursday. It might have been the morning I was leaving. Anyway, I was curling my hair and yeah, hit my head. Um, so it's already like scabbed up and peeled and stuff and my color is starting to come back. But over the weekend, I either had a hat on or I covered it up with my yummy skin, Danessa Myrick's uh, yummy skin. And it was fine. Most people didn't notice. I'm just hoping that it doesn't leave a mark on my forehead. So we shall see. So that's one update. Another update is, girl, I got home and my house is hot. Burning up. The last two nights, it's been like 83 degrees in the house. I sleep in the cold. So I'm used to sleeping in like 68 degrees is a, is a sweet spot. So I've been hot than a mug. So I have an air conditioner company coming. Um, uh, they were gonna come today, but Amira is getting a fill in today. So uh, they need to come tomorrow. So your girl been burning up. And for that reason, we're getting out of the house today. Yesterday I was in the house all day. I did take a day off. Cause when I was in Denver, for some reason towards the end there, I was getting kind of in my head and I just put myself into a bad mood. So yesterday, <laughs> yesterday I um, just had a mental health day. My mom left yesterday morning. Um, I was sad about that. And then I just kind of was reflecting on some things, had like a three hour um, conversation with my sister. It was just a day, I needed a moment. And now I'm feeling better today. Still kind of a little down a little bit, but we're feeling better though. It's it's a journey. Anyway, y'all, we are about to um get out the house. I want to get Dior. She's right here. Baby, what are you eating? What are you eating, mama? How beautiful. I want to get her out the house today. Um, she is post op over two weeks. So she's ready to go. I want to get, I want to take her, um, to a dog park maybe um but before that i want to go and pick up a couple books a while ago i told you guys i wanted to get into like novels and you guys gave me some recommendations i screenshotted those and Aaliyah has been reading and she's been posting about it like crazy and she had a post on instagram where a bunch of girls were giving recommendations while i screenshot some of those so i want to go to barnes and noble and grab a couple books then we might go out to like bookhead village maybe um sit out there go to a cafe and hang out with Dior and read and then they have a fetch um dog park out there too so that's what's gonna happen today I just want to get some fresh air I want to get ah that's what you're eating no ma'am I need to blast my gospel Christian music and just get out of this funk that I'm in I had to pick Amir up from school early around three so that I can get her to get her some food and then get her to the dentist at four so I want to you know get out early and um Get out there and not have to rush, you know? So yeah, we are getting out of a bad mood, but we are being optimistic. God is good. We are here. As long as we ain't dead, 
he ain't done, baby, so it's fine. <laughs> I wish I had the same delusion that I do when I was two and didn't think that I could ruin anything at all. I could never fall. I wish I had that same conviction, convinced I never needed a fixin'. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if not, then everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it that I was a member Of Confidence Club, cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she all right, y'all, we're about to get ready to go. We got that puppy. So, y'all, we are going to take her to get um, groomed. I want to find a really good groomer because I feel like when we took her to Petco, they didn't do the best. Like, I feel like she can look so much cuter. So, we're going to take her to someone else. I'm currently looking for a good person who can do catapults really good because her hair is so long, y'all. It's like two inches long. Like, she's so fluffy. And we like it like that, but we don't want it too long. So, she said hi to the girls. Say hello. So, I'm gonna grab her, um, she has her harness on, and I'm gonna grab her leash. We are gonna take this with us. I got this from Amazon. Y'all, we gotta get Dior used to that carrier because she is not happy. <laughs> but she'll be okay. Um, yeah, so I need to pull out the list of uh, all these books. I wanna find at least one of them because there was a lot of them that people said was really, really good. So let me go to my screenshots and I'm gonna see what they have here. I just want to hurry up though because I don't want to leave Dior out there too long. A lot of people said seven days in June. A lot of you guys said that. Um, let me see. One of Us is Dead as well. It's a psychological thriller. I love, love those. So let me see where is the fiction in here. Um, yes. I am looking for seven days in June. Oh, perfect. And then another one is called um, One of Us is Dead. Do you know what that is? All right. We got seven days in June. I'm going to look up uh, One of Us is Dead. And then I also want to get the one that uh, everybody is hyping up, the one that Leah's been reading. So, Chad, I'm trying to hop on the bandwagon. I think it's called The Seven Husbands of... Evelyn Hugo? Yes, that one too. <laughs> Thank you guys for the help. <laughs> I didn't even have to look. They know where everything is. And you always um, I'm gonna start with these three. Thank you okay, so much. Sure. Yay. I'm happy. All right, y'all. So we just got to fetch. Um, I was on the phone with Unique the whole time on the way over here. We just got off the phone. More than likely, I might have to keep her on the leash though, because it's just very new for her. Let me see if I'm gonna put on my shades. I had brought some different shades and I forgot them at the house. I don't know if I like these with this though, because I'm like silvered out. I don't know. I'm mad that I left my other shades uh, at home. So I went upstairs specifically to grab them and then I left them. But anyway, child, um, let me see which book we're gonna do. I kind of want to start with Seven Days in June and then go on to The Seven Husbands of El Evelyn Hugo. I want to start with Seven Days in June. I think I'm gonna start with that one. Um, so let's take that with us and let's get this baby to the park. Do I want to wear these shades? I think they're okay. We can wear the shades. All right, Dior, are you ready, mama? Yeah, we'll take her down to fetch. I'm gonna stay there for a minute and then I'm gonna probably go to like a cafe or something with her. I'm only gonna be down here for maybe like an hour and a half because I gotta get back and um, pick Amira up for the dentist. So, it get better in the summer. Hey, hey, hey. I need to take this YouTube music off my phone. <laughs> I did not know that you had to have a membership for Fetch. So I got to get Dior's like um, vaccines together and a whole bunch of other stuff. <laughs> it's really just one vaccine I got to make sure of. I want to do that so I can set her up a membership so we can go to Fetch and hang out. So I will get that together for her. But for now, we're just going to go and chill over here so I can read my book and probably get something from the cafe. Say hi. <laughs> Dior. Dior. Okay, look at y'all. 
this little girl is all over the place. Come on, Dior. Definitely gotta get her out of the house more often. <laughs> We got Amira, and um, I just got her from school early. I told you guys she's getting uh, fill-ins today. We just came to Tacos and Tequila, <laughs> our favorite place, so that she can have a meal real quick before she um, gets her fill-in. So. you guys since Wednesday is what I'm thinking because girl let me tell you I have been having a week okay do not mind the beauty room it's looking a mess back there but it's it's okay but yeah I've been having a week y'all I have not been in the mood to be in the camera I just been reading and chilling pretty much is what my life has looked like the past couple days Yesterday was the most hectic day ever. Yesterday, I got my air fixed, but the process of getting that done was so hectic. Dior was screaming the whole time the guy was here to fix the air. It was just very, very ghetto, okay? It was so ghetto. But we got the air fix. Last night, I slept in a little bit because, girl, I was just so happy to be sleeping in some air conditioning, child. Because my house had been like 80-something degrees every night since the weekend. So I was like super, super happy and excited. So I rebought this brow pencil thing, y'all. It's from Makeup Revolution. I'll tag it below. But it has a brow gel on one side and then it has a angled pencil on the other. And this is like my favorite one because it makes you like have those brow strokes, which I absolutely love. After I draw the strokes, I'll go in with the brow gel, just kind of like blend everything in and like brush it upwards. But yeah, y'all. Today, we are going to be, where is all my stuff? Y'all, this is my first time doing my makeup since I've been back home. Like, this week, I'm telling y'all, I cannot lie to y'all. This has been, <laughs> whoo child, this has been a crazy week for me. This is my first day actually doing anything. Yesterday, I did get out the house, though. I went and took myself to dinner. I was just reading while I was eating. And just chilling out, I needed to get out last night because I just had a very, very crazy day. These days, y'all, I'm really focusing on my discipline because I lack discipline. I seriously, seriously lack discipline. And it is something that I need to get a hold on. Reading is one of those things for me because I realize I be wanting to read all these books but I never finish them. <laughs> like I never get to the point where I actually finish a book. And I notice this pattern in my life in other areas as well. Where I'll start something, then I won't finish it, or I'll be consistent for a second, then I won't be consistent. And I can't say that that's something that has taken over my life because there's been plenty of things that I have started and finished. I think it's a very recent issue 
in my life because I didn't used to be this way. So it's something that right now I have to be extremely, extremely intentional about. Like I absolutely hate that I have developed a lack of discipline over the last couple years. So I'm really trying to dig myself up out of that hole because that's so bad for me. That's so bad for me, especially with what I do for a living. But it's been, it's been hard. It's been really hard. Y'all see, I just covered up my burn. Um, it's healing and starting to become brown again. So I'm happy about that. Reading is one of the things that I'm doing to help my discipline. I'm like, Maya, you're going to finish this book, period. And then after that, you're going to finish another book. I've been talking about wanting to read for a while, but I had bought some books and never showed them to y'all because I had started reading them and I didn't keep reading them. So sometimes I won't even tell y'all about certain things because of my lack of discipline and then I don't be staying on it. And it also be scaring me too because I do share a lot of things with you guys and I be scared to share because I be like, Maya, what if you fail again and don't stay on top of what you said you're gonna do? Like, I'm so tired of that being my thing. One thing I noticed about myself recently um, in the month of April, um, with my health and fitness journey and my food and everything like that, I put a calendar up in my bedroom. If you watch me a lot, you probably have noticed the, the calendar right next to my mirror, um, my arch mirror in my bedroom next to the bathroom. I did the calendar and every day I put a mark on it for if I did my food good that day or if I um, worked out that day. And I wanted to do it because I always start a health and fitness journey and then I end up not having any progress or I fall off or, but then I get like two, three weeks into it and be like, oh my God, I've been trying. Why is nothing happening? So I told myself I'm going to do this calendar. That way every day I can notate whether my food was good or whether I worked out if I stayed on top of what I said I was going to do. And I'm happy I did this because when you go about life and Maybe you're, you have these goals. One day you're eating pretty clean. One day you mess up and then you mess up the next day, but you work out all those days. And the next day your food is good, but then you didn't work out. Like, but then you end up two weeks later, like, oh my God, what happened? I have no progress. I'm crying. I'm sad. I'm upset. If you do it this way, you can actually see what happened. <laughs> I can pick up on my inconsistencies. I can pick up on what is happening in my life that is keeping me from staying consistent and having that discipline y'all at this point I think there's only two days today is April the 19th there's two days between April 1st and April 19th that I have worked out and ate clean and then I wonder why I'm not making progress for me it's good for me to visibly see that because it's like okay I know where I need to change because it's so easy for you like when you have health goals to be like oh I've done so good this week I think I've done so good this week if you can't see it visibly but I've done so good let me just you know I can eat something that's not on the plan today and then you end up doing that multiple days and saying oh it's fine I can always make it up I can always burn it off but that is what leads to not having the result so yeah, I have been doing that and it's already helping me to make better decisions daily because I don't want another day where I'm not eating to meet my goals and I'm not moving my body. And both of those together on a consistent basis is what's going to get me to my goal. If you have health goals um, or any type of goals, I don't know if that would help you, but Personally, it has helped me a lot because it allows me to visibly see where I'm messing up versus in my mind thinking I've been doing good when I really actually haven't been. So that's helping me to stay disciplined. And I've been trying to find other ways, like tangible, realistic ways to track my discipline and to actually get better. So if you have some of the same issues, sis, I would definitely try something like that out. Anyway, um, today we are going to, I'm going into my girly pop, y'all. Today we are going to just go hang out. It's a super, super nice day today. Um, I have a couple errands that I do need to run. I need to go to the post office. I do want to browse home goods and then after that I think I'm gonna go to downtown Duluth and like go to a coffee shop or outside 
have me a latte or something and just chill and read my book tonight we are going to um cut steakhouse with my friend joyce amira and dior will be at their dad's house tonight <laughs> so we do have the weekend alone so i'm really excited about having the weekend because it's been a while since i've had the weekend all by myself yeah girl that's what we're going to do um i am doing my makeup up up even though we're not about to do nothing for real for real right now um i'm not gonna have time to redo my makeup tonight when i go to cuts with joyce so i am piling it on so that tonight we are good and ready to go all right y'all so we made it to the room i finished my makeup just simple every day type of vibe i also just got done curling my hair i've been doing better with my technique on how to curl my hair i know you just like curl it away from the face on both sides so far i've only curled it twice and this was the second time but it looks it looks good but real quick update on the hair um i think i'm gonna go to ashley and get it washed next week I have been struggling, still been itching. My scalp isn't horrible, especially since I've been running a lot. It hasn't been horrible. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, so I'm happy about that. And I have been keeping heat off of my edges. The entire time I was in Dallas, I didn't even, you know, put any heat on my edges or anything like that. I've just been tying it down, especially after I work out. I might do like some edge control or a wax stick and then tie it down and let it dry after. That's what I did today. Um, I just put a little edge control all the way around. Um, I've been putting minimal heat on my hair that's out because obviously my hair is out. Y'all, this is all like in the back. This is all my hair. This is my hair. <laughs> so like I have so much hair out and that was the reason why I really was a fan of the relaxer because if I did not have a relaxer and I had this hair and that hair was out, it would be puffy every single day and I would have to put heat on it. But it doesn't get puffy. Um, the humidity doesn't really touch the texture of it. And that's what I love about having the relaxer. I'm still up in the air whether or not I'm gonna let that grow out or not. We shall see. Ashley wants me to grow it out, but we gonna see, shall. Anyway, um, y'all, we got some new fragrances. So happy. So Valentino just sent me um, their fragrance. I don't know if this is new or not. The name of it, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the bottom of the screen so you guys can know the name of it. But they just sent me this. I tried it on and wore it a little bit yesterday. It's like a very vibrant floral scent, but it's still very soft. I like it. I love the packaging. They sent me the perfume and the toilet. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I'm still learning about fragrances. Um, I'm assuming the toilet is... Like the difference between the perfume and the toilet. Um, and I could be pronouncing that wrong as well. So yeah, I'm learning, learning curve. <laughs> but um, this is a lighter scent. It's not as heavy as the perfume scent. But they sent me both of these and I like the scent. I am going to play around with this. I'm usually not a floral girl, but I do like this. I can't say I love it, but I do like it. Also, Huda Beauty, y'all, just, um, you guys know their Easy Bake Powders, how there's a scent to them. They recently created um, Easy Bake Powder without a scent. Got that in PR. But what they decided to do was to put the scent in a fragrance. So this is the Easy Bake Fragrance Perfume from Huda Beauty. And it smells just like <laughs> those powders, but a little bit better though. It does have some notes of vanilla, so I was happy about that very intense very intense and it lasts like yesterday when i got it i sprayed just a little bit on my wrist i let it sit it was on me until i showered strong just as strong as when i first sprayed it it is a warmer scent but it's very intense extremely extremely intense and lastly y'all we had to get my girl jackie's fragrance so i only bought one um specifically because this is the more warm vanilla scent and on tiktok there's so many people who have this one and who have said that they've gotten so many compliments and that people really love this one so this is nda by forever mood girl this is it however i have to say though it smells like heaven like this is probably my new favorite like vanilla warm scent because that's my signature scent is like that vanilla note um she doesn't last that long and i hate that 
<laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. I wore this two days ago. You guys saw me put this on. And by the end of the night, if I did, did this really, really close, I could still smell it. I feel like it faded everywhere else and I put on a lot that day. Sad about that. I am gonna try some of the other ones eventually, but I really want to try this one first. Um, I'll probably go into Sephora and sniff some of the other ones and see which one I like and buy a second one. But I'm happy for the purchase. I'm happy that I'm supporting Jackie. I'm so happy and proud of her. Um, for these fragrances, I know she worked a long time on them. I just wish it last a little bit longer, but I've only worn it one day. I'm gonna give it some more chances and see um, how I feel about it. But I do love the scent on me. I love how it dries down on me. I like it with my pH, you know, my body balance. Love it. And it's so cute. It's like a little crystal and it's so cute. It's a nice, a very nice size in my palm. This is how big it is. I think it's a really good fragrance. So anyway, y'all, I'm probably gonna put this on today <laughs> just because I love how I was smelling the other day, even though by the end of the day, I feel like I couldn't smell it. But um, we're about to put on an outfit. I was gonna do this um, this little crop top. I think I'm gonna do this. We'll see. I gotta see how much of the breasts are out with this though. Um, and then depending on how I feel, we're gonna try on both the shorts and the jeans. It's a very casual day, so no biggie for real, for real. But I just want to be comfortable and not be super duper hot. Dior, why are you in my closet? I'm putting on a bra that has barely like zero, zero padding on it. That way, in that type of top, it works well. Brand of this top is Lost in Wonder. The jeans are H&M. Okay, you can kind of see the bra detail through the top. I don't, I'm not crazy about that. I'm okay with this, uh, with this, you know, cleavage situation. Because it's not too much at all. But... I don't like that you can see the bra details, so I'm gonna change the bra. But this is a cute little casual outfit. I think I'm gonna do the jeans. Let me see how the shorts look though. Dior, no, do not try to grab my jeans. Okay, here's the shorts. Very cute. I like this. So yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the jeans instead though. I think I like that better for today. Let's do our NDA fragrance from Forever Mood. I'm going to drench myself in this. <laughs> And more than likely, I'll wear that again tonight just to layer it on top. I'm gonna throw my watch on. I need to get some more watches. This is like the only watch I have for real, besides the one for my grandmother. I'm throwing on this cuff on the ear, which is from h and I'm gonna switch out these uh, studs. We also need to put on some lotion, apparently, because my hands are horribly ashy. So let's do that before we put on any rings. I'll be staying ashy. I don't know what's wrong with me. So y'all, I hope my mood is not weird. I, like I said, I've been pulling myself out of a rut the past couple days. So I'm really forcing myself to get out the house today and not just lay around and do nothing and not be productive. I mean, honest with you, this kind of cute for tonight if I just throw some heels on, you know? I don't really need to change, but I probably will. I'll put a dress on. I might wear that pink dress that I bought last week. But yeah, this is the outfit, guys. Very cute and casual relaxed i'll probably throw on my um gucci slides with this i feel like that would match pretty nicely and yeah let's get out of here we are on our way first things first to the post office specifically because without saying too much i need to figure out how to get someone to stop receiving mail at my address so yeah we gotta figure that out <laughs> Because apparently change of address is not a thing. Anyway, we're going to go see what the question is to that answer. Be Wait, flip that. We're going to go see what the answer is to that question. <laughs> um, and see what we can do about that. More than likely, I'll probably have to go back up there with some kind of documentation. Also, the people that used to live in my house, they also have stuff that still comes to my address. All the people who have mail coming to my house, that's not me and Amira. I need to stop that. So... Um, uh, we're gonna figure that out, and I'm gonna be honest, y'all. I probably ain't going to Target or Home Goods. I think I'm gonna just go to downtown to do thing, Kiki. <laughs> I do not have to pick Amira up until 6:30 tonight because she's got something going on at school after school. So I got a little time. It's 1:30 right now, so we got plenty of day, you know, coming up. <laughs> plenty of day available to do whatever. Also, shades, you. I feel so cute. 
<laughs> these are the ones that I told you guys are my favorite. I got these off of Amazon. I will make sure I link these because I have not, because last week I did not link the shades. So, yep, we're all. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, I just got out of the post office and did not get the information that I wanted to get. So, if any of you guys work at the post office, please answer this question. Or if you know if it's different than what they told me. So, according to the post office, only thing I can do is when I get mail that's addressed to someone else that should not be coming to my address, I have to just write on it, um, return to sender, or this person doesn't live here and put in their mailbox, put the flag up. And I'm like, is there any more permanent solution to this problem? And she was like, no. Until their change of address kicks in, you just got to keep receiving mail. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do to, like, show that I own the home, that there's nobody else on the occupancy permit, like, nothing. And she's like, no. So, my mom told me that there was possibly a different way to, but, I mean, she don't work for the post office, but, um, that's annoying. It's like, you want a chapter to be over? <laughs> there's nothing you can do to stop some of the things, and I'm trying to stop things? It's annoying whatever let's see if you have a better answer for me y'all please let me know in the comments and if i don't see your comment after a few days and i don't respond to it girl please dm me or instagram like, i've been checking my dms a lot more like i need to know how do i stop this because yeah all right let's go to downtown duluth i'm gonna go over there and i'm gonna um go to a coffee shop real quick and then we'll chill out and then we'll eat a little bit I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just owned it But sadly I've outgrown it I know I'm still that girl But I don't know how to show it Like she knew Like she knew, she knew, she knew Wasn't really ready, no, I had to grow Oh, but it's so heavy and I'm feeling low I'm learning all that was wrong for me Somebody would have issued a warning No, they did, but I kept ignoring Didn't wanna have to face it But if I don't, I know it's gonna break me, oh Yeah, she thought she could do anything Thought she could get anywhere Confident she's number one And if nothing, everybody's wrong Used to be calm, now I can't remember How I used to do it that I was a member of confidence Hey, y'all so it is later on in the night it is around almost nine o'clock y'all my day has gotten away from me let's just say i got a little wrapped up in my life and things that was going on at duluth and i got home and went straight to sleep and now i'm like trying to rush out this is what we are wearing this dress is from zara you guys saw me buy this last week it's cute it's pink baby it's very feminine i love it white shoes um i'm not sure where they're from but i'm wearing them with these this bag is just from express this bag is from express so this is what we're gonna wear tonight joyce is already meeting me um there i just got off the phone with her to let her know sis i'm sorry life got away from me <laughs> but because i am never the late friend so i'm feeling actually kind of bad right now but this is what we're wearing i might put on my pointed toe shoes which are from the house of cd just because i'm not really feeling the off-white shoes and the square toe so i might put those on i am like literally so happy that i got ready earlier because right now y'all i am out of it i might go ahead and put these on because i feel like this matches the vibe a little bit more than the square toe like these shoes Away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself. Help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yay. What's up, babes? Happy Saturday. So, it is obviously the next day, y'all. Last night, 
<laughs> First of all, I had a great time with my friend Joyce, but girl, last night I was out of it. It was crazy. I did get home around 12.30, so I slept in today. It is currently like 12.20. I just got done getting dressed and doing my makeup and stuff, so I'm gonna show you guys the outfit real quick. Today, I just wanted to just get outside. Um, I told you guys I have the day to myself, but I um, have a play to go to tonight, and I don't see myself coming back this way. So I'm probably just gonna go to the Southern Gentleman and eat some food, haven't eaten today yet, and read my book. This is what we're wearing. The crop top is from Aritzia. The skirt is from Opali. Um, I'm wearing my Gucci slides and my Fendi bag. I want this to look like, you know, classy, casual during the day. Then I'm gonna take my white heels to pop on for the play tonight. So I'm very much like feeling weird, a little under the weather, feeling, um, just weird. So I think that's probably why I've been wanting to bury myself in my book all week because, you know, sometimes you just want to dive into others' lives instead of your own. So yeah, I straightened the hair also, if you can tell, obviously. Straighten the hair. I love how thick it is, even when it's straightened, girl. Yeah, I just tucked one side behind the ear and this side I have out and kind of bumped it so that the bottom kind of goes back. Like I said, in a weird mood, but it's all right. I'm fighting through it. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, I have not posted at all this week. But I am going to take you guys with me to lunch. And yeah, let's go. I don't want to be crazy no more. Every time I think you're going to walk out of my door. I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me. Just reassure me. Call it it before it starts. Call it protecting my heart. Heart disguised as stress. 